Welcome. And from me is a cross call action X3, and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification screen. So, as you can see, the phone in front of me is locked. And without the proper email and password for it, I won't be able to actually proceed with the setup. But to bypass it, there is actually one thing that we'll need, which is an uh, SD card. And you will find a link in the description for a program that you will, or app that you will need to get. It will be linked in the Hard, uh, to the hard reset info website. You can actually navigate here as well and just search for your device. And in the bypass Google FRP section, you'll find a link to it. And what you want to do is just download it and then put it on the SD card and then put that card into your phone. <clears throat> so once that is ready, you can <clears throat> begin the bypass by holding the uh, photo key, which is the one on the right side on the bottom right here. So hold it. It takes you to the app, just say, say no thanks, tap on the photo, and then select gallery, and just tap on it once more, uh, tap on allow. And now you can see actually the photo, but the more important part is we have a share button. So tap on the share, and you will find different options. Start holding the Gmail app, so hold it, it will give you a pop-up and then select app info from there tap on notifications right here and then tap on the gear icon and then three dots and then tap on manage accounts and tap on continue and now we should be in the settings so from here we'll start off by going into the security so wherever it is right here scroll down and then you have the device administrators tap on it and then deactivate it deactivate go back while you while you're in here you might as well just disable the unknown sources or enable it so we can install the app and then go back to the main settings page which is right here and find the apps category right here on the three dots up here and then show system so we can actually see the system tasks and scroll down till we find oh, i think i went too far we need where is it? google play services so google play services is one tap on it and then tap on disable disable up go back like as you can see it's now disabled then go a little bit above it and we should find Google Account Manager. Also disable it, disable up, go back. Now, back in the main settings page, we want to now go into the storage. Wherever it is, so right here. Now, we want to install the, the file that we have downloaded. And uh, just before I start installing, I will show why it's needed. So if we go into accounts now, right here, and tap on add account, you'll see that there's no Google. You have like Gmail and stuff like that uh, for specific one, but there's no actual Google. And if we go back and actually install it, wherever it is, storage right here, and tap on your SD card. And that's the file right here for me. I should smack in the middle of it of the folder of sd card so tap on it then tap on next and install give it a moment for it to actually install Okay, and once it's done, you want to tap on, well, done. Go back to the main settings page again, right here, and then go to accounts, add account. As you can see, now we actually have Google, which previously wasn't here. So select it. Make sure you already are connected to network as I am. Otherwise, you won't be able to actually log in. 
um, and tap on email. And if you don't have one, you can always create one. It doesn't really matter. As you can see, there is a create button. So you could tap on it and create a email address that I can use, but I already have it, so I'm gonna use it. Okay, and tap on next and log in with your email address. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And once more, tap on next, and you will see this screen right here. So welcome. And all you need to do is just tap on I agree. Let it log in fully. There it is. So now we want to re-enable the Google Play services. So let's go back into the apps. Again, tap on show system, scroll down, oh, and again, too little, too far. You find the ones. Where is it? Yeah, for some reason it's like way higher than it was previously, so kind of threw me off. But yeah, select the play services, enable it. Go back and then account manager, which is right here, Google account manager, enable. Okay, and all you need to do now is hold power key and then select reboot after you enable those. Okay, if you don't enable them and you reboot the device, it will just start try to connect to Google when it's looking for verification and it will just endlessly do it until you enable them back by the same process we have entered here. So let's wait for it to actually turn back on. Then you will see that once we get to the screen where it actually tells us to verify, it will then recognize the email that we have put in just a moment ago as previous one, basically. So I just tap on skip, set as new. And right, if you wouldn't enable the play services, this would be just going forever until you either reset the device again or re-enable them. As you can see, account added, and that's the account that we have previously added. So now we need to just tap on next. And uh, if I remember correctly, it will ask us if we want to use that account as a main one. And we can just select no, if we don't want to use it. Okay, so I'm just gonna select that now. Skip anyway. Let's go down next. No, it doesn't really matter what we select right now because we need to do a reset of the device anyway. So let's select all set. Sure, got it. And disregard the fact that right now the application probably will crash soon that we have installed previously. It's not really needed anymore, so. Now let's go into the settings. 
then scroll all the way down, tap on backup and reset, then factory data reset, reset phone and erase everything. <clears throat> Wait for the process to actually go through and then we'll go through the setup process of the device once more, but this time there won't be any kind of verification needed or any bypass needed. It will just be a freshly reset device. So I'll be back once that is actually finished. Okay, and as you can see, the process is now finished. So I'm gonna go through the setup process fairly quickly. Let's select English. Let's go. Skip. Set up as new. And as you can see, where you previously would have the verification, now it's just a sign in. I can tap on skip and skip. Let's go to the next. Not now. Now it doesn't really matter how you set it up, you can choose whatever you like and log into everything that you would want to. Just set up the device as, as you would do normally. I'm only trying to go to the setup process quickly. And as you can see, the device is now fully unlocked and ready to be used. So that is how you would perform a Google bypass. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.